Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to use the AND formula in Microsoft Excel. Uh, AND formula is a formula which allows you to check whether all the conditions in a given set are met. Only then would it turn a true. If even a single condition is not met, then the result would be a false. There are 255 conditions that the AND formula can test at in, in a single given formula. It's a very, very good thing. Let me show you how. I have taken an example over here. See, I have mentioned in column B, I have mentioned a few numbers. In column C, also, I have mentioned a few numbers. And see, I want to test, I want to place a test wherein it says that if the number in column B is greater than uh, 300 and the number in column C is greater than 200 then it should be a true else it, it should be a false all right let us test that I'm talking about B6 and C6 all right is equal to and logical test one that's what's highlighted over here so we are gonna select the cell which we are uh, which will contain the logical test B6 is should be greater than 300 comma then comes a logical test 2 they should say that it should be greater than say 100 all right it is returning a false because one condition is being met the second one is not being met now let us try to have a formula where both the conditions are being met is equal to and logical test 1 that b7 is greater than 10 comma and second test c7 is greater than 300 this would be a true right because both the conditions are met so based on this i have made a slightly com complicated formula over here if you see uh, i'll explain it it's a wonderful thing to know this is what it's gonna do this formula uh, will tell you we'll be using the and uh, in this example I'll be using the and function the average function to find out whether the names of these students whether the students who are mentioned over here have they achieved marks which are equal to or greater than the average marks in that subject in their class if a student is having marks greater than or equal to the average marks of this of that subject across the class only then would he be considered as pass so pass would equal to be true all right so let's have that formula over here uh, just for your information here are the averages mentioned for these subjects for the class all right and we have uh, Students like Sumit, Rajesh, Carol, David, Superman, Wolverine, Chris Gale, Harry Potter, Spider-Man and Janice. So we have a wonderful class over here. <laughs> and see Spider-Man was has was absent in the physics test. Obviously he doesn't believe in the rules of physics. He keeps on flying. <laughs> Alright. So let's come back to business. Is equal to and logical test one would be whether this cell this student's marks are greater than or equal to the average marks of the students in this class so I select this range and I press F4 to lock these cells because I'm gonna copy this formula down then comma my second test again and second test is this cell which is the marks in English it would be the cell address would be I6 is greater than is equal to the average of the complete class which is this range F4 I again lock it comma my next condition and cell J6 is greater than is equal to the average of physics right this range I press f4 again to lock it 
bracket close 3 4 and it's a false why because the average is 54 and 54 over here for English and physics and this guy has got 30 and 40 here his average is greater than his marks are greater than the average but still two conditions are not met see now we can copy the formula down Superman unfortunately but most obviously failed <laughs> well the the training file that you're looking at right now is available for free download on my website mylesson.org so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning